Welcome to this channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So it has been quite a while. I am sharing the Wing Chun version 2 in this channel and among friends who is close to me. And due to that, many of our Wing Chun friends have heard about it and message me asking me many questions on what is uh, Wing Chun version 2, why uh, is that a need for Wing Chun version 2, so forth, so forth, so forth. So today I like to share with you, to give you a, a big picture so that you can understand why is that a need of Wing Chun version 2 now, why this upgrade is critical, what it is, so that you be able to make a judgment whether you're going to go this direction or not. <clears throat> because uh, Wing Chun version 2 is a fundamental upgrade, which is a must for Wing Chun to be alive or else Wing Chun is obsolete today. Okay. Now, before I present all this technical stuff and all this, I like to share with you about the Chinese culture today. Chinese culture, especially in martial arts, <coughs> in uh, Qigong, even in some of the uh, Buddhist or Taoist teaching, is in a really chaotic situation where most of the thing is no longer what the ancient Chinese is teaching. So, you need to know this. You must know this. There are three things in the Chinese uh, martial art, Chinese uh, Qigong, Chinese Buddhism, Chinese Taoism, Chinese medicines, whatever. The first thing we need to know is that It is about the part of legends. Legends. So, for example, for uh, Wing Chuners, the story like uh, Mui uh, created Wing Chun. Or who is the king of Wing Chun? Or uh, some grandmaster have this secret where uh, you touch him, he will fly you away. Or this uh, ancient grandmaster have this chi inside his body and he had this fa jing. Those all are legend. Okay? Those are story. Like uh, the story in the movies. So today, Chinese culture have a big part of that and people live within that legend. They believe in that is real and they believe uh, that is uh, how it is supposed to be. So they live in the world of legend. So... Not even martial art, even in like a, in Chinese, like a Buddhist teaching or something, <clears throat> many people is living in those type of, uh, of, of legend world. Okay? Story world. So you know that legend world is not in the reality world. Okay? Now, the second part we need to know is the so-called philosophy.
studying in Bruce Lee's time 60 years ago, when Bruce Lee talked about philosophy, suddenly everybody bring up this philosophy. Wing Chun is uh, a, a straight line martial arts. Wing Chun is a triangle type of martial arts. The closest point between a straight line, uh, the closest point, be, uh, the closest between two points is a straight line. These are our philosophy. Again, this is a philosophy world, like uh, people can argue, it can mean many things. What does it mean that the closest between two points is a straight line? You can have argument for, for, for forever. A Wing Chun is a triangle shape. You can have argument forever. A Wing Chun is a straight line, uh, a fighting art. You can have argument forever because this is all talking philosophy. That's why you can see there are so many Wing Chun today based on the same philosophy and uh, they do things differently, so forth, so forth, so forth. Well, so they live in the philosophy world. Again, the philosophy world is not the real world. Okay? Now, so what is the ancient real Chinese teaching? The real ancient Chinese teaching is about or with the contents of the fundamental practice and its verifications. The fundamental practice and its verifications. In today's words, it is scientific. You know the cause, you know the effect. There is no such thing as you keeping practice this set. Some days you will get it. Okay? There is no such thing like that. So if somebody tell you, you keep practice this set, someday, like today, everybody talk about, oh, you practice Yulin Tao, uh, some days you get this internal power. This, uh, this is not what the Chinese teach in the ancient. This is belong to what? This is belong to the legend world. Oh, this set is from a such and such grandmaster. You keep practice it some days, you will get it. Uh, that is belong to the legend world. When you look around for past 100 years, 100 something years until today, do you see anybody develop anything at all with those kinds of living in the legendary world? You don't. To the opposite, now you see that many things is against the science or medicines, human bodies, uh, uh, nature. So the, the ancient Chinese is really pragmatic people. You have the fundamental practice and then you have the verifications. If you learn the real thing, you need to have that. It doesn't matter you learn martial arts, Wing Chun or meditations or in Buddhism. You have to go through that. There's nothing come out of Plum Blue. Okay? And so in the, uh, in the proper practice of fundamental, the, the, the process of development and verification, there's also no such thing as the closest between Two point is a straight line. Where up to everybody to interpret. There's no such thing like that. So, the first thing to reform Wing Chun, the first thing to upgrade Wing Chun is to know there's three things exist in Chinese culture today. Legend is fun. You can uh, watch a movie for legend. Philosophy is fun when you have enough time to argue with somebody, leisure time, when you're vacation, that's not bad. But for your daily bread and butter, you better know that. 
it has to be the fundamental training, the process of development and the verifications. Until you grab this, you don't have anything. You want to watch a movie and uh, living in the legend world, that's not bad. But when you want to face in the real world of martial arts, then we know we need to go for what is the truth of the ancient Chinese. Okay? So now, let's look into the truth of the ancient Chinese teaching where you have found the fundamental, the, the, the process of training, the verifications. There is, you cannot escape from that. And you need to know about the reality. And the reality of Chinese, like the Yi Jing, the Book of Change, Tai Ji, it means that the world is continual to evolve. And there are things which is continuous to become better. And there is things which is stay there because it is the law of natural. It just for example, since the late 1800, when Ford have his uh, designed his car, until today, like Tesla, how far have the car, the automobile uh, uh, industrial or technology evolved? How can the 1800s Ford compare with today's Tesla in terms of safety, in terms of everything? However, you got Newton's law there that it never changed. That is the teaching of the Chinese Yi Jing and Tai Ji. Things continue to evolve. There are things which is not changed. So you want to keep the thing which is, you know, it never change like Newton's law. But you need to evolve with your car. You're not going to drive a 1800s Ford in the highway today. Can you even get up to the highway to travel that, that speed? Okay. Now, so that is the reality. That is Chinese, I just tell you. You need to know this. Don't get into those Tai Chi, Tai Chi thing. Oh, yeah, this uh, Dao is called Zhan San Feng. Uh, he dreamed that uh, this uh, God teach him the martial art the second day. So one over one night, he learned that, that the internal art. Uh, and then the second day, he can kill hundreds of bandits. But then wait a minute, in the history, at the, the era of the general Chi Ji Guang fight the Japanese pirate, look at what really happened. Does it have something like this at all? Will the, the, the Japanese samurai with the samurai sword and jujitsu buy into your legend from the dream? And the philosophy of Taiji. Read about the history. Okay? So let's get into the bottom line of Wing Chun. We like it or not, this type of Wing Chun you see today, which is evolved from 1870s, no longer works. It doesn't work. Bruce Lee, 1969, blow the whistle. He said that it is Wing Chun, like other traditional Chinese martial arts, is a land swimming. Now the Chinese, the young Chinese from mainland China, pull it out. So you know Wing Chun, 60 years ago, it has already had a problem. This type of stuff doesn't work or else Bruce Lee will not say it. And of course, Bruce Lee said goodbye to, to, to Wing Chun. This is his letter. All right? So 1960s to 
1996, 1969 to 1996. Almost 400 years later, everybody know this type of, uh, when Wing Chun get close, it's been take, take, take out within seconds. It go to 2017, uh, 2018. When Wing Chun get close to this, it's over. It cannot last seconds. When Wing Chun facing somebody who go this close, in today's world, there is nothing this type of training can do. <clears throat> There's no solution at all. There's a problem there. And so, <clears throat> Bruce Lee is the first one who know this is a problem. Well, knowing Bruce Lee is the person who like who love to change, he have to start his own Jit Kune Do. You know his frustrations, or else he will not say this kind of thing. Okay, now. So this is a reality, you like it or not. It never been self. It never been self. You train this way, it never works. And sure. So what happened since 1996 of this kind of incidents? Well, people went to practice BJJ, practice other arts. Well, so it solved the problem that it doesn't work. And so this type of stuff become a ritual. So you look at all those people who, 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 who present a Wing Chun school, but when they fought out there in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the ring, is that Wing Chun or is BJJ or is Western boxing? Or is grappling? But it never is Wing Chun. Do we think that the entire world is blind? They will not see that? That it is got nothing to do with this kind of training? And yet, Bruce Lee give up. And this issue never being solved. Until today. So, I'm solving this. Because it needs to be solved. How can you call a martial art or style when you have no uniqueness and uh, it really doesn't work in today's world? Remember, I, I talk about the Yi Jing, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the Tai Chi, meaning that you're keeping progress. That's the Chinese. So, in order to solve it, we need to get back to the, to the root of it. We know 470 years ago, General Chi Chi Guang saying that fighting is uh, dynamic, dynamically playing the momentum game with distance, angle, and level changes. This is fighting for him 470 years ago when his army has to fight the Japanese samurai with samurai sword and jujitsu. Of course, Jiu-Jitsu is going to get close to you. It is not like today's a Wing Chun hand techniques art. It is the entire momentum goal. So this is the base. Now, Chi Chi Guang have also classified the arts. This is so-called the long fist art. This is so-called short strike art when you get close. Your throw, your takedown, your striking at the grappling range, and so forth. And then this is called the ground fight art or category, which is not like jujitsu. It is a lot of kicks, a lot of lock, and so forth. It is not the Japanese jujitsu. So at that time, General Chi Chi Guang, he knows 
he formulated out that, he summarized out that this is fighting. You like it or not, the reality of fighting is this. And he formulated out that there are these four types of fighting. One must proficient in to play this game. Okay? So this is the real traditional Chinese martial art which have evidence in the history, not the legend I'm talking about just now. So as this, you can see, everybody in uh, Wing Chun today can see that, oh, this is Bong Sao, you know? This is Bong Sao, and uh, this is the Wu Sao, or, you know, you have a Guan Sao, so forth. Well, General Chi Ji Guang have already wrote that, and writing in there, and show you the combinations. It is a combo how you can get into strike in different way, even though it is like uh, you call it bong sao, guan sao, whatever in today's term. But Chi Chi Guang show you a combo in this writing. Now, or of different attacking from different angles, different level, and different distance, which is an implementation of this. Okay, now, so this type of art is belong to the short strike art. This type of art is belong to the short strike art. Short strike need to have this. Okay, and it further evolved in Shaolin. into an art which is get really close. So this is a 300, showing 360 degree. This is from the back. This is from the side. This is from the frontal. Okay, so this is showing 360 degree with the writing. And this is actually a, a type of improvement within this short strike. Okay? Now, well, the writing is there and how you have to handle your body and so forth and also the footwork or how it's better to say how do you want to handle your body, your core, your momentum. The triangle footwork here. The plum flower, the, the Z footwork here. Okay? So this is uh, in Shaolin Short Strike. And well, this is the so-called the Z footwork, how you cross into your opponent where you have forearm, <clears throat> forearm, the leg arm, the body arm, and your two arm. You crush into your opponent with your leg arm, your body arm, and your body, your arm is striking him. The same thing is your plum flower. This is the range one where the range before uh before the the, the, the combat zone. This is the severe combat zone. How the footwork from zone one attacking with your body and leg. To the into the zone two, shoot into the zone two, and how the hand attacking, and at zone two, how is it that one changing angle and keeping attacking with the forearm? Okay, and also not just that. When it gets to 1850 in the red boat, Wing Chun, as an offspring of the Shaolin, from this, 
from this have developed the body conditioning or training into the chi nourishing training level, the fitness training level, and the strengthen training level. Where strengthen level is you have to have your full accelerated impulse momentum, your explosive, where your chi nourishing here, you have a deep recovery here. So by 1850, we know in the history, technically, they have developed this. Okay? So it is never is like this, where people believe that this is the Wing Chun and this is the ultimate. This is forever there. No, it is not. This is actually really, really traveling off from what I have just shown you about from Chi Chi Guang to Shaolin to 1850s Red Boat. Okay? The Wing Chun. This become a hand techniques art, which is it is have traveling outside whatever the teaching of the combat in the battlefield and, and, and the, 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 the reality. So what is the Wing Chun version two? Wing Chun version 2 is we need to get back to this. We need to get back to this. We need to get back to this. We need to get back to this and this conditioning or else how the hell are we going to face this? How are we going to, 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 to face this as what the Bruce Lee say is a, a dry land swimming, the, uh, the, this type of stuff in terms of the handling of the momentum, this type of stuff, this type of stuff. How? You can. So you need to get back up this and Wing Chun version two is the foundations which is needed if you want have to have an art like this. If you want to have an art like this, you need a foundations. So I just share four of this. Reform must start now. One, two, three, four. Those are the very basic foundations that you need to have. Or else forget about it. You will never be able to face this. You will never be able to face this, face this, face this, face this. No way. <clears throat> 470 years ago is known. Not to mention that it evolved from here, evolved to here, evolved to here, and evolved to all this conditioning and all this, uh, this, this technical is a mature art. So version 2, Wing Chun version 2, which is I name it, I coined the name Wing Chun version 2, is this four basic foundations. Okay? where one must need to develop it, proficient with it, and be able to verify it scientifically. So this is a part of Wing Chun version 2. This four video, really important. And also, I have wrote two books. The Restricting Wing Chun and the Decoding Wing Chun, which is all the details on this thing, the details on the foundations of this thing. Okay. So, from technically, from technically, the type of fighting art to the conditioning. Now, of course, to the, to the footwork and all this uh, lake management, everything. Now, is within these two books. So, so, this is the big picture. And this is to be very detailed in it. <clears throat> okay. Now, 
in the entire world, only us in America have this. Because on one side, we have the ancient design of Wing Chun based on the proper, the, 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 the real Chinese martial arts. On the other hand, we have science and technology for the verifications. Okay, this is a verifications of your your breathing and so forth. This is the 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 very frequent frequencies on your strength and uh, your heart rate, your your training. Is here. So whatever you train with this thing, this uh, this four replacement or four upgrading version two upgrading. The basics. The, uh, the details is here. The scientific explanations and verifications is there. Okay. And uh, so that is what version two is about. Of course, there are a lot of things uh, I can go into, but I make it so simple, straightforward. You have one, two, three, Four. You must develop that. You want to know the details and to all the scientific verifications and how it is, uh, it is, uh, it is, it is uh, based on the ancients and, and, and all the, uh, the uh, seeing from different angles and perspective is in these two books. Okay? And I make it an education. There's no lineage. There is no lineage. There is no grandmaster here. It is a subject, like taught in the taught in the college or university. Everybody has the same. <clears throat> and I won't charge you for three thousand dollars to bow to me, be my secret student or my inner circle student. No, everybody have the same informations. Okay, the same informations. This is free. And for this, if you want details, you pay for the books. And if you want to go further for scientific verifications, you buy the instruments. Okay? And this is all spot science uh, stuff. Now, so what is the result? Well, this is the result. One can expect to get from one of our friends who try it. I have tried everything yesterday while teaching. When I stand at the sticking body short strike distance and using the forearms. Okay, this is forearms. Forearms. Okay. This is the forearm. Okay. I attack with knee and the body. I use deep breathing, abdominal pressure, pushing the hip and upper leg outward and inward and keep my balance with my butt. Then I use torque from my hip and body and employ three-dimensional movement with the wave power and splice power. I'll be honest with you, it was overwhelming. The opponent can maintain any balance at all and is completely overwhelmed. If they manage to turn, I immediately twerk in the opposite directions with the weight power. When someone grabs my body, I use the same method again. They struggle to maintain their balance and can get a proper grip while I take their face with splash power. I will continue to practice and optimize this and teach it to my student. You have to practice this a lot to get really good at it. This is a whole dimension in martial art. This is unique in real Wing Chun. And uh, I want to share with you something. In the book, I share on the intra-abdominal pressure. 
And one can see that in the book, as described in the book, this is with the reverse breathing. You see the body, when it strikes the body going outward, you know, the strike, the power shoot outward. And uh, when you use a ordinary breathing, then the body, when you strike, your body lean backward, your power is not developed, uh, uh, going, exerting forward. Okay, I show this because uh, just now uh, this person mentioned about the, the, uh, the abdominal pressure. I use a deep breathing abdominal pressure, pushing the hip and so forth. Okay. So this is the reality. Whether you change it or not, it's free for everybody. I am just providing a solution. A solution which is needed. It is urgent for those who really want to study traditional Chinese martial art or Wing Chun properly. Because it is up to the time that it has to be addressed. Okay, and of course, I address this. I provide this solution. I am not, and I don't like to promote violence, to beat other people and to keep being saying, hey, don't talk with your mouth, talk with your hand. Those are violence. Those are really rude. I present here is technology. If you know this, like our friend said, you over, overwhelm, overwhelming your, your opponent. You don't have to hit him. If you're capable to do that, you don't have to keep being saying, oh, you know, uh, challenge people. Talk with your hand, uh, talk with your hand, don't talk with your mouth. Or uh, can your staff uh, uh, face pressure? What pressure? And yet you ask those people who, who talk that way. Did they know about the breathing, the intra-abdominal pressure? Did, did they know the entire system for verifications? Which can live up to today's science? So what is the point to, to play gung-ho, to play root, to play violence? Where one need is to learn the proper thing. And you look at other, other martial arts in the sports and so forth. Did they look violent like that? Or people are really humble. You look at the, in the dojo. You look into the Western boxing gym. Didn't they behave really well? Or you look at the Olympic. It's not promoting violence, violence, violence every day. But uh, just violence. You have the technology, you don't have the technology. So this is what I like to share with you. So two things. One thing I have already shared the upgrade to the entire world in this channel, in the book. The second, for heaven's sake, don't get into like past 50, 60 years keeping talking about fighting, fighting, fighting. Uh, talk with your hand, not talk with your mouth. And yet sitting down there, don't do anything. You need a solution for past, from Bruce Lee's time, at least since 1996. But there's no solution. You're just keeping talking those things like in a movie. Those are, those are abnormal human behavior. Those are not proper human behavior. The Chinese don't do that. The Chinese talk about humble, talk about reasonable, talk about Wing Chun is a uh, Buddhist art. Buddhist arts talk about what? Compassionate, empathy, helping people. Be able to tolerate and you and still helping people. So the, finally, I like to share with you one Chinese term, which is real, which is not fantasy, which is not philosophy which is not legend. And it is a practice which is needed for anybody who to be great or even in daily life. Okay, and this is a solution. 
In Mandarin, it says 忍辱负重. 忍辱负重. In English, it says and you, so that you be able to hold a lot of load. Endurance, so you be able to hold a lot of loads. Meaning that if you want to do big thing, you need to learn how to endure, how to uh, tolerate. Not explosive like uh, talking, fighting here and there and there. You need to learn how to tolerate. And only that way you'll be able to see things clearly, being humble, you solve the problem and you become great. Or you be able to have the shoulder to be able to sustain, to support the load. Not everybody, I'm the king of Wing Chun. King what? You got a problem there you didn't solve. You think the entire world don't know? So this is what I like to share with you. Okay? Uh, this is what needs to be addressed because it is an education. We need to know what the ancient really teaching and we are not going to screw our own Wing Chun brother and sister. You, you, you let them walk into the war zone without really properly educate them. What are you going to do to, 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 to cost them? So this is what I like to share with you. And so be it that this, this video stick in the world history. 100 years later, they can, they, can, they can watch and see what is my intention and what I'm trying to do here.